Okay, good evening. Good evening. How are you? How was your day? <laughs> Fine, and you? It was uh, just a really good day, I think so. Right now it's raining here. So it's gonna be a cold night. <laughs> yes, uh, here is rain. It's raining too? I see. Wow. So we are gonna get it started because it's eight o'clock already. So let me just hold one second. I'm gonna share my video with you. So let's see, uh, here is where we stopped uh, yesterday, right? Am I correct? Here is where we stopped yesterday. Is that right? Aquí nos paramos ayer, ¿verdad? Uh, I, I'm not uh, yes. here yesterday. Oh, you were not here yeah. yesterday. Not a problem. Today Oh, today is the first day. Okay, yeah. all right. There is not any problem. So here is where do we stop. I would like to know if from, from the ones, right, that were here yesterday, is there any question regarding this before that we go on the next slide? Do you have any question? Not. In, in the moment, I know I have a question. Okay. So if there is now any question, uh, let's go basically on what we were just uh, trying to study in the Word document. It's basically this, right? In the simple past tense in the verb to be and as well with the verbs or in the case with the option verbs, right? We are gonna have to basically uh, the positive or the affirmative sentence is gonna be was where plus the complement. And then for the verbs or the action verbs, we are gonna have the subject plus the verb with the ED plus the complement, right? So here is what we have. In the negative sentences, we are gonna have the subject plus the was or were and the not plus the complement and in the verbs or the action verbs in the past we are going to have the subject the auxiliary did plus the verb in the base form right plus the complement as well in the questions uh what we were studying regarding to questions is that we are going to do like a kind of a swap right we are going to bring the verb or in this case, in this in the verb B, we are gonna bring the verb B at the beginning, and then we are gonna have the subject. And in the option verse, we are gonna have our um, auxiliary plus the verb in the this plus the subject. I'm sorry, plus the verb in the base form plus the complement, and don't forget the question mark, right? So if we wanna study it in perspective, right? This is what we have yesterday or what we were studying yesterday regarding to the sentences. So we are gonna finish the idea today on it and we are gonna have questions in here, right? And this one starts just no questions, All right? There's no questions. Okay, in the chestnut questions is what we have in the slide, right? Or in the slide that I was presenting a couple of seconds ago. It's what we have there. So basically in the chestnut questions, what we are gonna have, it is just a simple swap, right? So we are gonna have, first of all, the auxiliary, and then we are gonna have the subject. The not is gonna be erased, and our verb is gonna stay in the base form. And instead of the point, we are gonna have the question mark, right? So like, for example, in this one, right? Let's take the very first one. I know that is in negative, but we are gonna do with a question. So we are gonna do this. Did they go to the church last 
Sunday, for example, right? So in here is where we have the question, right? Did they go to the church last Sunday? And it's so where we place the question mark in the swap that we were talking. Give me just so one second. And the swap that we were talking about. Let's do the next one, right? That is gonna be about she. So in the she, did we are she? going to have did she. Did, did, did she didn't. Okay, so here we have once again, uh, as you might notice, right? If you notice about it, you might see that the auxiliary did, just allow me one second. You might see that the auxiliary did, it's gonna be used or we are going to use it with all of the personal pronouns without distinguish them, right? Which one is which one? Without saying if this one is on the first person or in the third person. So the auxiliary did is for all of them. So these ones are just no questions, right? Or the structure of the just no questions. Why do we call it them just no questions? Basically on these questions, we are just going to expect this answer. Just yes, she did, right? Yes, she did, or no, she, she didn't. didn't, right? So we expect this type of answer. Of course, you can add it more if you want to. You can definitely add it more, but it's not necessary. Here, we just only waste, wait, right? This are just or a note on it. So is there any question regarding the question, by the way? <clears throat> is there any question regarding the question? No, teacher. No, all right. So um, if there is not any question regarding to the just no question, let's go to the next type of questions that we are going to be finding. As you might notice as well, right, once again, um, all of these type of questions are going to be in all of the tenses, right? All of the tenses. In every of them, they are gonna be repeated. Just the only difference is going to be either the verb or the auxiliary that you are gonna be using for them. So here we are going to just do an addition on it. We are gonna have the WH word plus the auxiliary, right? Plus the subject plus the verb in the base form plus the complement. In these ones here, we are going to take this, right? We are going to take this one, the one that we have as an example. And since this one, it is just a question or we have a place, right? Where we know. So we are going to use the WH question where? Where did they go to? And here, since we are asking, we don't need the church, right? Last Sunday, for example. And in this one, the answer is gonna be a little bit different. Uh, let me change the answers here, the color, right? Yes. So you can see it better. Um, let's see, a purple one. Okay, so in these ones, we expect a really long answer or a different answer because we are asking for the information, right? We are expecting that they can give us the information that we are looking for. So we are going to say they well, <clears throat> Okay. And here uh, we have like an affirmative sentence, right? And here we are going to have an affirmative sentence for the information questions. So these ones are regarding to the 
formulas or the way that we are going to be structuring sentences or statements in simple past tense using the did and as well the verb be that is going to be was or where. Is there any question regarding to this? No. All right, so if there are no questions, or so we are going to do together just um, an example on in the virtual platform, right? We are going to do something on the virtual platform. And in here, we have the first exercise in the knowledge check, right? Who would like to read the number one as long with the answer? Who would like to be a volunteer? Did you play? Mm -hmm. The answer, teacher. Yes, you have the question, right? Here, you choose yes. the best response for this question. Here we have a question, right? Yeah, the answer number two. No, she didn't play soccer in high school. She played basketball. Good job, thank you. What about the number two? When did you graduate from college? Mm -hmm. Number two, uh, Number two uh, I gra graduated from college in 2005. 2005, yeah. okay. Yeah. What yeah. about the number three? Where did you grow up? Okay, where did okay. you grow up? Okay. Yeah. Good job. And what about the number four? When did you begin to study English? When did you begin, right? And what about the number five? Yes, yes I did. Yes, I did, okay. So let's see. And yes. there we go, good job. So question so far, is there any other question? You no, tell me sure. everything is clear. Yeah, for, the, for the moment, yes. All right, so that's good. If everything is clear, that's awesome. So we're gonna do this one later on, right? Because here I have a conversation. Of course, you can practice it by yourself. But in this moment, I'm gonna give you just the opportunity that you can talk to each other, right? So this is what we are going to do. Here, uh, this is what we have. You have to read the questions and at least to choose four of them. Here we have, where did you go to middle school? Where you were good like a student in the middle school? What were you the best subject and so on, right? So you will have 10 minutes to discuss the questions with your partner and you might use the expressions here. Like for example, oh, that's interesting. Really? Me too. Wow, well, tell me more. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. this is what we are going to do. We are 14 at the moment. I would like to know if everyone has their microphones available or you are able to go on breakup rooms, right? If you have the microphones available. Just to yes. know that I'm going to place you right on groups because I need that you can talk to each other to you and talk in the simple past tense, which is the important thing here. You don't have to really use the questions that we have here. Yes. You can use mm -hmm. as well. You can ask the ones that you would like to. And uh, I don't know if you would like to have a picture from this slide on the WhatsApp group as well, before that we go on the breakup rooms. Uh -huh. Eh, les gustaría tener una fotografía en el WhatsApp de este slide en específico antes de que nos vayamos a los breakup rooms? Yes, yes, sure. yes teacher. All right. Please. All right. So give me just one second. There we go. Huh. My cell phone is giving problems now. Hmm. Crazy one. Okay. Let's see. Ah, oh, there we go. And it's clear and that's wonderful. There we go. So you're gonna get it in a couple of seconds. So let's see then. So I'm going to stop sharing on it. Okay, when people disappear from here, right? 
So someone just uh, go out from the meeting. So we are 13, so it means that we are going to have a trio. So I'm going to stop sharing and please uh, talk to your partner, right? Van a hablar con una pareja acerca de estas preguntas. Eh, pues usted puede incluir las preguntas que usted quiera, ¿verdad? No necesariamente del amigo de school. Usted puede preguntar de algo más siempre y cuando sea en el pasado. This is just an idea, right? For you to talk. You are going to have 10 minutes to do it. And I'm going to be in different break and rooms with you. Y voy a estar con ustedes en algunos rooms. So I'm going to just stop sharing. One second. Okay. So let's go on the rooms. There we go. Oh, wow. So... There we go. So you're gonna receive the invitation in a couple of seconds, right? Okay. Let me see. Okay. So there we go. Please uh, join to the rooms. All right. Okay. There we go. Middle Chul is teacher superior. Oh, yeah, tell me. Middle, middle school, the middle school is um, the correct pronunciation is middle school, middle, middle school, middle school. Good job. Yes, the middle school is like from the what? From the sixth grade up to the ninth grade, for example. It's como oh. el sexto grado hasta el noveno grado. Es la, la escuela media, verdad? El high school ya definitivamente pues son el bachillerato que nosotros le llamamos. Oh, okay. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Thanks. Okay. When did you go to middle school? Is uh, I I middle school uh, did was was veamos uh, did I go to middle school in Usulutan? I went to, remember, I went to. I, I went to middle school in Usulatan. I went to middle school in Usulatan. Yes. I went to. I went to, yes. Okay. Just remember that your question in this case, right? Um, the question is, where did you go to middle school? Okay, so I can say um, I went to middle school in Las Moras, for example, in my case, right, in Las Moras. Mm -hmm. So basic 
basically uh, just try to remember that when you have the auxiliary, your verb is in the base form. But when you are not going to have the auxiliary, your verb is going to be in the past tense. Cada vez que ustedes tengan el auxiliar, su verbo va a ir en su forma base. Pero si el auxiliar no está presente, el verbo debe de regresar a su forma pues, pasada, ¿verdad? Para hacernos entender qué tiempo estamos hablando. Ok. okay. I did go to middle school in Usulután. No, I went. I went. ¿Cómo estás, estás contestando en presente? Oh, yes. I went middle school uh, San Miguel. All right, good job. So continue practice. If you have any question, let me know. Continúen practicando. Si tienen alguna pregunta, me lo hacen saber. Take care. Okay, thank, thank you. You're welcome. Didn't, uh, didn't what's actually during didn't your life? Your life. Teacher, one question. Yes. yes Hi. In, the, in, in the number three, the answer is what were you the best subject? What is the is the is the what meaning of the subject? Your best subject? What were your best subject? For example, which ones were you good at? Um, in my case, right, I was good in language, I was good in social studies, and I was good in English as well, right? So those ones were the best subjects that I have, and as okay. well as, yeah, those okay. ones. Okay, so subject is the middle of in Spanish materia. Exactly, yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. okay, okay, okay. And what subject did you like, Alfredo? Uh, Alfredo, se fue. He just probably he lost connection. Yes, because it's raining. Right it's now. raining really bad. Yes, it's raining really bad. I don't know if he's gonna return or what happened. Who was it with you? Um, um, ¿Quién estaba con no, usted? Alfredo, but don't worry, teacher. I I I answer the the sentence me. Okay, so okay. look, I think I have no, well, not no one else is alone. There is mm -hmm. one that has joined, but with the name of Galaxy A02, but I don't know who is. <laughs> oh, Fred is A. back. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Alfred is back. Let's see if he joins here. Okay, Alfredo, what's going on? He's connecting Hello? the audio. Excuse okay. me, excuse me, teacher, excuse me. Last what connection, is, huh? Uh, the, 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 the connection, uh -huh. yes. Yeah, I bet okay. so. Okay, Alfredo, uh, the number three, what subject did you didn't, didn't do you like? Uh, obvious mathematics, I think. Um, matic, mathematics. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I like mathematics. <laughs> I like mathematics. I don't like mathematics okay. in this in, in the middle school. Me uh, either. <laughs> I'm not good at math at all. <laughs> really? Yeah, no. It's not that I'm not good. It's uh, just that I need to just like I've been paying really close attention to what they are doing because uh, I tend to get lost in everything. So when we study statistics in the university, we were like, I was like, oh my God, the statistics. And the person who was giving us statistics was a person that used to be an engineer. And then he changed the career to be an English teacher. And I was like, oh no, oh my God, this is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't statistic. You don't like but, statistics as well? No, me either. No, I'm not good but, at all. <laughs> but I, uh, I am architect, but I don't like the mathematics in the middle school. But, oh. <laughs> uh, but in, in this time, I like it because my my first sons, 
is in seventeen, seven, six, no, uh, sep, septimo, sep, sep, sips. Sep. Uh, but if you say sep, is it gonna sep. be in French, right? Uh -huh. If it's a seven, <laughs> it's French. Yes, it's seven. going to be seven. 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 Seven, seven, seven yes. right? Seven, right? It's yes. medical. It is, it, it, what this thing is? What this thing is? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I study, study, study seven grade, seven grade today. And next year, I study eighth grade. Eighth uh, grade, yes. You're going to uh, be, you have to. <laughs> I, 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 I played soccer, edu education, education, physical, okay. ¿cómo sería? Physical education. Physical education. Yes, physical, physical education. education. <laughs> okay. okay. But yeah, some of any, us, any, they're really any, good. Any, anybody like mathematics? in the yeah. middle school. <laughs> no, I think, but they are really important, to be honest. Okay. For the so continue is, practicing. Okay. Thank continue you. practicing, okay. chicos. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. And Sí. No, yeah. okay, pero... todavía no. Ah, todavía no. No, no, no. no. Todavía no. Practiquen. Oh. La ah, verdad okay. que me interesa escucharlos. Ok, thank you. Thank ah, you, okay. teacher. Welcome. Ok. Ok, Regina. The first game. Where, where did you go okay. to middle school? Your answer is? I I was go to mid school uh, Santa Teresa uh, college institute college college uh, college or, or college institute or school uh, ah no no school yellow school the, okay. the dimension uh -huh, school. Sí. Uh -huh, the okay. Dimen okay. Okay. So just one thing. Uh, sorry, sorry to interrupt you guys. Lo siento por interrumpirlos. Um, let's remember with the same one that you are been asking for, with the same one you're going to be answering. Con el mismo que se les está preguntando, con el mismo ustedes deben de contestar. Uh, ¿Qué quiere decir esto? Here we have the did, right? So did is the auxiliary of the past. Did is el auxiliar del pasado. Entonces, cuando nosotros damos una oración afirmativa, en el caso de una pregunta, ¿verdad? WH question, nuestro verbo va a pasar a ser pasado. En esta oración en específico, el verbo es go. Entonces, ustedes tienen que ser el pasado, que es va a ser bueno. Entonces, cuando le dicen, where did you go to middle school? Entonces, en este caso, cuando ya le hacen la pregunta y usted va a hacer la respuesta, usted dice, I went to middle school in, por ejemplo, Santa Ana, Sonsonate, etc., right? So I want I teacher. I want sería I went. Como? When. I went. I went. Went to, right? Ajá. Went to. Eso es lo que bueno, teníamos esa duda, ¿verdad, Milton? Porque uh -huh. al principio sí habíamos sí. dicho, pero pero eh, cuando, porque hablábamos, eh, mencionamos el was, pensamos que ahí lo omitíamos en el co. No, al hablar um, de was. Al hablar de was. Cuando ustedes hablen de was, en este caso, va a ser el presente simple del be. El was es was y where, ah, como en la segunda. Okay. Ustedes tienen where. Uh -huh. Were you a good student in the middle school? Entonces aquí la pregunta, ¿fuiste tú un buen estudiante en la escuela media, verdad? En, en, en educación media. Entonces usted le dice, yes, I was or no, I wasn't. Entonces ahí depende. Y si alguien le quiere indagar más, ¿verdad? Why? En la 2 sí podemos utilizar el was. En la 2 usted sí puede utilizar el was. Porque ahí ya le está preguntando con where, ¿verdad? Where are you? Entonces, eras tú, ¿verdad? O fuiste tú un buen estudiante en la educación media. Entonces, usted le dice, yes, I was or no, I was. Ah, wasn't. porque nos estamos remontando al pasado. Exactamente, sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. 
Gracias, Ay, Teche. Ya saben. Este, sí, ya me lo voy a llevar, ¿verdad? Porque ya, ya bastante tiempo. <ríe> ya me lo voy a llevar a los <ríe> okay, demás compañeros. I'm going to broadcast a message. Les voy a mandar un mensajito ahí que ya voy a cerrar los breakup rooms. So, okay. Ok. Un buen okay, trabajo. Thank you. Okay, we are gonna be back and just missing 13 seconds, right? For the other ones to get joined with us. The ones that hasn't joined yet to the main meeting. I hope that you enjoy the first, well, the friends time that we were doing, right? At the moment in the time that you were practicing. It's so wonderful that you are able to practice, which is a really good thing, right? That you can be talking with your classmates as well. So let's go on the presentation in a specific the slide that we were studying at the moment or the one that we were practicing. There was any question regarding to these questions. Alguien tiene alguna pregunta concerniente a las preguntas acá? something that hasn't been clear or something that you have any doubt on it? Yes, teacher. In the, the question, what other language can you speak? Mm -hmm. The answer is, um, I, I can speak only Spanish. It's a good answer. Yes, uh, you can answer it like that. I can speak just Spanish or only Spanish. There is only no Spanish, okay. Do you do you have a big family? Yes, I do. Do you have a big family? For example, big families, right? What we consider big families is that, um, for example, you have three or four uncles, aunts, and so on. So a big family means uh, that you have a lot of siblings, right? Mm -hmm. More information. In the case of do you, uh, this one as well is a chestnut question. So you can just simply say yes or no, and the person it has the door open to ask you more, right? How many uh, okay. siblings do you have, for example? Okay. Did you enjoy for your childhood? Only yes, I did. Yes, you can say, uh, yes, I did. And as I said, right, these ones, they give you the open of the person to ask you more, right? To ask you more, to ask you like, uh, what did you enjoy the most, for example? Que disfrutaste más, verdad? So here you have close and open questions to give more answers or for you to have more information, right? For you to create your own questions, basically. That was the purpose, you, that you can create your own questions with the just no questions so you can ask for more information to the person that was talking to you. Yes. 
teacher, uh, what I mean, subject. Subjects. Uh, subject. For example, the subjects are math, science, chemistry, social studies, English, psychology that they talk. Uh, well, when I was in the school, they call it psychology, uh, right? And as well, all of them, right? Grammar, uh, for example, language. Mm -hmm. Signatura. Exacto. Como signatura. Las asignaturas. Las materias, oh. ¿verdad? Nosotros okay. lo que le llamamos materias. Ok. Ajá. Ok. Matemática, teacher. Oh, matemática. I, I didn't. I didn't. Always. You didn't. Oh, okay. Matemática, I don't like it. You don't like it. So we will yeah. have a nice discussion, right, with some of your partners about math. I think that math is important, right? Some of us, we are not good on it, but some of you, they are really good as well. Which is important, right? So let's see. Um, do you have any question? Or tienen alguna otra pregunta o algo que les cause a ustedes como una especie de duda o confusión con respecto a las preguntas? O algo que tal vez no haya quedado muy claro. Si la hay. No, pues nos pasamos al siguiente topic. Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. In as um, uh, was where I did for as where is uh, uh, inseguro is is was or, or did or didn't. Okay, muy bien. Thank you for the question. Gracias por la pregunta. So I'm going to go back, right? Voy a ir un poco atrás en sus módulos o cursos para poderles explicar un poco esto mejor. And I'm going to do it in Spanish. Y se los voy a hacer un poco en español también. Eh, hay algo que nosotros debemos recordar. Con el mismo que a usted le estén preguntando, con eso mismo va a contestar. ¿Qué quiero decir con esto? Cuando usted escuche una pregunta, where did they go, for example. Si usted escucha esta pregunta, acá el protagonista no es did, porque did uh -huh. solo es su auxiliar. El protagonista realmente, o lo que yo quiero saber, es este verbo, que es el go. Entonces, prácticamente acá, ¿verdad? Lo que yo necesito saber es a dónde ellos se fueron el fin de semana pasado. Entonces, cuando yo escuche una pregunta con este did, eso me quiere decir que al momento de yo dar mi respuesta, mi verbo se va a volcar a su forma pasada. En el caso de did, ¿verdad? En el caso de lo que es did. Entonces, cada vez que ustedes escuchen una pregunta con un auxiliar, como el ejemplo lo es did, Usted tiene que recordar que el auxiliar es solamente, como su palabra lo dice, una ayuda que a mí me identifica qué tiempo estoy yo hablando. En este caso, pre pasado, ¿verdad? En este caso va a ser pasado, pero no es eh, lo principal de mi oración. Lo principal es el verbo. Y el verbo lo vamos a localizar siempre después de lo que es el sujeto de la oración, ya sea este un nombre o un pronombre personal. Entonces, cuando yo ya voy a dar mi respuesta, como lo es en esta pregunta, where did you go to middle school? Aquí lo que ellos quieren saber es a dónde yo fui en la, eh, ¿verdad? En lo que es la, la educación media. Ahí yo voy a decir, I went to... Santa Ana, por ejemplo, right? I went to Santa Ana, porque acá me dice a dónde, entonces yo tengo que dar un lugar, ¿verdad? I went to Santa Ana, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, con este recordemos que si tiene el auxiliar, pues su verbo va a cambiar a pasado o va a ser presente dependiendo de lo que usted esté hablando. En el caso de where, ¿verdad? De where, que es el verbo be, acá en el where, lo mismo sucede, si a usted le están preguntando con where, su respuesta, si es en el caso de un pronombre personal que siempre lleva where, pues va a ser con where. Pero como acá es directamente para mí, yo voy a decir, I was good in the middle school, or yes, I was, nada más, ¿verdad? Or yes, I was. 
pero como les comento, es de lo que ustedes les preguntan, con el mismo que les preguntan, con ese mismo, nosotros vamos a contestar. Algo bastante interesante que ustedes tienen que notar es que en el caso del Verbi, ¿verdad? En el caso del Verbi, el Verbi es el protagonista de toda mi oración, porque si yo digo, I was good in the middle school, Acá yo ya no tengo otro verbo más que simple y sencillamente el verbo be, que es was, ¿verdad? Entonces acá ya no hay otro verbo que realce o de un, un realce en específico a lo que es la oración, sino que solamente él. Entonces después del verbo be, ustedes van a notar que van a tener ya sea un adjetivo o un nombre. ¿Verdad? En el caso este va a ser sujeto más verbi, ¿verdad? En cualquiera de su forma, ya sea pasado o presente. Y aquí vamos a llevar un adjetivo o un noun, ¿verdad? Va a ser un adjetivo o un noun. Entonces, este verbo vi es el verbo que ustedes tienen que recordar que es el verbo de los estados, ¿verdad? De los estados como... Pues en este caso, cualquier clase de estado, ¿verdad? Este, ya sea feelings, sentimientos, emociones, cómo se ve la persona en su apariencia física, ¿verdad? Un objeto, cómo se ve, o así como nos enseñan en la escuela, ¿verdad? En la materia que es, cambia sus estados. En un momento el agua, si usted la pone al frío, se pone como hielo. Si usted la pone al al fuego, ¿verdad? Empieza a calentarse, a hervir, etc. Lo mismo sucede con el verbo be, entonces nosotros utilizamos el verbo be para eso, para describir estados, ya sea de una cosa o de una persona. Entonces prácticamente acá son adjetivos o son nouns lo que utilizamos. Caso contrario a lo que es el auxiliar o en el pasado, ¿verdad? Cuando nosotros ya tenemos un auxiliar, nosotros ya tenemos verbo de acción, ¿Y cuáles son esos verbos de acción? Verbo de acción, hablar, correr, caminar, este, cosas que hacemos a diario, ¿verdad? Pero no nos describe nada. Entonces, en ese caso es solamente una de las pequeñas diferencias que ustedes van a poder encontrar entre el did y el where. Para recordar, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que tenemos que recordar entonces? Pues si a mí me están preguntando con did, él no es el protagonista. Él solamente me está diciendo, uno, que es pasado. Y dos, mi respuesta se remonta a un hecho en el pasado. ¿Verdad? Entonces acá, el verbo, cuando yo de la respuesta, cambia. Eso tenemos que recordar con did. ¿Qué pasa con where? En el caso con where, nosotros vamos a recordar que este es un verbo de estado. Entonces, después de este verbo, yo voy a encontrar un nombre o un adjetivo. Dependiendo cómo me estén preguntando, así voy a contestar, ¿verdad? Y es I was, no I wasn't, o le doy más información. No sé si ahí les aclaro un poco cómo sería estructurado esto. Yes, yes, teacher. Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Mm. Seguros o en red más, ustedes me dicen. Uh, Excelente, teacher. Excelente. Ok, all right, Thank so, you. ¿se entendió? Ok, perfecto, yes. lo importante es, ok, thank you, the important thing is that you can understand it and you can use it, right, for the next time, lo importante es que lo puedan entender y lo puedan utilizar para la próxima vez que tengamos pues, una práctica de, de lo que es platicar, ¿verdad? Entonces, make friends so right? que puedan ser amigos so let's see um, if everything is clear let's go to the next slide está todo claro vamos a la siguiente pues lo que es la siguiente parte de la presentación yep yes everything is yes. good All right thank you truly really appreciate it so here we have used to right used to refers to something that you regularly did in the past, but don't do anymore. This is just something, right, that we use with the past tense, and we refer to use with things that we are not doing it anymore, right? Here we have some examples like, uh, did you used to collect things? 
Yes, I used to collect comic books. No, I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect art. Or for example, what sports did you used to play? I used to play basketball and volleyball. I never used to play the sports, but now I play tennis, right? So these are some of the examples for you to have a better perspective on it. Here I have just a little bit of differences. Are you able to see it well? Lo pueden ver bien. Lo miran bien. No sé si se ve bien la imagen. Yes. Yes. Yes, okay. it's good. Thank you. Which is the differences between used to and this past simple, right? What we are studying. They are used together, but they are not the same. For example, used to, it says that is for actions in the past do not happen in the present. The number two, it says for actions that are not longer true, and you can use it with some adverse of frequency. Like for example, in the number three, I always used to go to the gyms on Saturdays. My brother used to be a teacher, but now he works in an office. And I used to take a train to college every day, for example. And the simple past is for actions and events, right? That happened in the past. Modern homo, modern homo sapiens, right? Originally in Africa around 200 years ago, right? So 200,000 uh, 200, years ago. For the longer past actions or events, Jim studied German and politics for five years, for example with the following words that are time markers, right? Yesterday, last uh, last year, this evening, last month, or at 6.30. I bought a new dress yesterday and to repeated actions or events and play tennis twice when we went to on holidays. Here is, uh, for example, the differences between used to and past simple. Both of them are used together, but they don't mean the same when you got used to, right? Is there any question regarding to used to or something that hasn't been clear? You tell me. It's clear. It's clear? Okay. Okay, good. So for example, if we want to convert this one with used to, if we want to do it this one, right? They went to the church last Saturday. How we are going to do it we used to? I used to I used to play with Barbies when I was a kid. I used to play with Barbies. Someone say it, right? Okay, there we go. Good job. Is there any other example? Alguien más tiene algún ejemplo? I used to sleep in class. Okay. Wow. Me too. I used I to used sleep to in what? class. Tell me. I used to speak. <laughs> you used to speak in class. Okay. I think we were the ones that used to have those seals, right, in the notebooks that me? says, please sign it up, right, from our parents. Creo que nosotros éramos de las que llevábamos un sellito en los cuadernos donde pedían que lo firmaran los papás, right? My teacher used to have one for, for the ones that speak in class for a pericot. And the ones that didn't do the homework with uh, ah. a turtle. Para los que hablaban en clase, <laughs> maestra tenía un, oh. yo recuerdo, ¿verdad? Que tenía un sellito con un periquito. Y para los que no hacían la tarea, tenía una tortuga. <laughs> yeah. What a para, thing, right? Para kids stamp. Yes. For a very kid, if you were the ones that yeah. speak a lot, right? And the ones that didn't do the homework at Turtle and so on. And they asked you, your parents to sign it on, right? And uh, it uh, was just really good memories, right? So, yeah. But yeah. So let's see. Here we have some examples 
Someone says, I used to play with Barbies uh, when I was a kid. I used to sleep in class. I used to speak on class, right? So uh, we are going to do it uh, with this one, right? Classes. All right. So let's see. Here is what we have about used to, right? Whenever you have used to, after the preposition to, every time the verb is going to be on the base form right every time it's gonna be on the base form this action or the three actions that we have here it means that they are not happening anymore in the present and they are not gonna happen anymore in the future right so they stop it at some point in the past is there any question regarding to used to hay alguna pregunta concerniente al used to if you have it Yeah. Or everything is good. For the moment, yes. It's For the good. moment, yes. All right. Yes. So if there are no questions regarding to use to, okay, let me check as we heard we have here one. I'm afraid. Mm, no, we don't have it here. Okay. So let me continue then. Let's continue with the used to part and let's see here i have some of the spaces right so we need to fill it out the spaces in the blank okay so for example in the letter a who would like to read uh letter a that can help did, me did you me? use to collect common book when you were little Thank you. So someone said me can read the letter B as long with the answer. No, I didn't. Okay. No, I didn't call it coming. No, up. I didn't or no, I didn't used to. No, I didn't used to. No, I didn't okay. used to. Okay. No. Give me just one second. I don't know why this stopped writing on it. No, I didn't. It would be like this, or should I take off the D? Sería de esta manera, o sería en este caso quitándole la D? Sin D. Exactly, right? I didn't use to. Mm -hmm. I didn't use to collect things, right? Good job. Thank you. What about letter A in this one? Mm -hmm. When you and your friend to go play at the playground as a skill. At the skate, uh, the playground as kid. The all right. Playground as kid. As kids, okay. Did you and your friends, okay? Did. It will be used to go or did go. Did you go? Go only. Only go. Mm -hmm. Only go, okay. Go to. What about this one? The B. Yes. Yes, we play it. We play it, spend hours. Yes, we went. Okay. Someone says we went. Are you sure? Okay. You tell me. Mm -hmm. What video games did you used to play? Okay. Veamos esta. Did you 
you should play. Fíjense que acá en la letter B is not correct. Because uh, this one, whenever you had went to, after the two here, you need to have a place. Because the two is a preposition. It's not the infinitive. So basically in this one, we cannot have went to. Here, we will need to, or we are forced to say used to, right? Yes, we used to spend hours there on weekends, right? So mm -hmm. here in the question can be and can be in this case, did you and your friends go to play at the playground as kids? However, once again, here is asking us if we do it, right? Did you used to play? at the playground as kids? Yes, we used to spend hours, right? So we need to be careful because basically when you use go to, the preposition to, it is for a place. When you are using use, you are gonna be using as an infinitive. So when you have it as an infinitive, you need to have a bear in the base form after it. So we need to be careful what do we have there or what we are talking on it, right? So let's see. Um, here, uh, two, right? Used to play. And here, what it will be. Mm -hmm. Yes. What I do you used be? To, I, used I, used, I used to. I used to play. I used to play video games, but now but I, no, play I play, play all, the time. all the time. That's wonderful. So this one. What about the letter A? What music? Did you did you like listening to? Did you like listen to? Okay. However, look at here, but now I prefer, right? What do you used to, right? Used to listen to. So here, um, I don't know why am I confusing this one, right? Used to. So here I'm gonna have, I used, I used to, to listen. Yeah. Yes, I used to listen. So here, uh, you need to be a little bit careful, right? Tenemos que ser un poquito cuidadosos. Why do we have to be careful? Because just remember that uh, the used to are free actions that are not longer happen, or I can change uh, the taste of the music, for example, right? I can change my mind regarding to that one. In the past was this, but now is this, right? So you need to be careful whenever you are looking at the sentence. You need to explore the sentence, right? Before that you can go ahead and just place on something there. Tienen que, eh, bueno, en este caso, ¿verdad? hay que fijarse en la oración. Recordemos que ellos tú son para cosas que estuvieron en el pasado, pero que ya no son verdad. En el caso de la música, ¿verdad? Yo solía escuchar el pop, pero ahora... Ya cambié, mi, mi mente cambió, ¿verdad? Prefiero el rock. Lo que les decía anteriormente, este used to no es una preposición como en el go to. Cuando nosotros tenemos go, ese tú que nosotros tenemos después del go se conoce como una preposición de lugar. Por eso yo pongo un lugar, ¿verdad? Después de eso. Sin embargo, acá este used to es un infinitivo. Cuando nosotros tenemos un infinitivo, eso significa que nosotros tenemos que tener un verbo en su forma base a la siguiente parte después de él, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, just uh, keep on mind that, right? You don't need to learn that. No necesita aprenderse eso, pero sí recordarlo nada más, ¿verdad? Cuando vea una oración, ¿qué es lo que está viendo? Si está viendo un lugar, preposición, go to. Si usted está viendo un verbo, necesitamos un infinitivo. Is there any question regarding used to? Because we are about to end up the class. ¿Hay alguna pregunta concerniente a used to? Ya casi pues terminamos la clase. 
Everything is clear. Everything is clear. That's wonderful. So if everything is clear, I'm glad on it. It was a pleasure to see you tomorrow. Once you coming into the class, mañana pues cuando ustedes entren a la clase, we are going to have uh, just a practice on the used to, and it's going to be the same, right? Yeah, we are going to be on groups. You are going to be with a partner and you are going to be discussing different topics, right? Like your style, music, your hobbies, um, and the way to dress, right? Some things here that you can use too. So have a wonderful night. I don't know if before that we go, if you have any question regarding to the course, any question regarding to the virtual platform that you would like to study tomorrow. Alguna pregunta concerniente al curso o con respecto a la plataforma virtual que le gustaría estudiar mañana? Si la hay. No? Is everything good? Okay. Sure, mm -hmm. I have a question. Um, Go ahead, Linda. Will you will you use um use it to and when use use to okay uh what happened is that whenever you are gonna have use to and use it to it's gonna be depending if you have the auxiliary or not si usted tiene el auxiliar nosotros no podemos tener el use it to con la de verdad si usted no tiene el auxiliar es ahí donde va a aplicar el use it to if you okay, want okay. to, we can explore it tomorrow in deep. Si ustedes gustan, lo vemos mañana a uh, poco más a profundidad, ¿verdad? Para no perder más tiempo. All right. Please, teacher. All right. Please, yes. teacher. Yeah. Bye. Siéntense libres, ¿verdad? De decirme si ustedes necesitan que se lo diga en español, si necesitan que baje el speed de mi, de mi speaking, eh, siéntense libres. No hay ningún problema, ¿verdad? Ustedes me pueden interrumpir en el momento que sea. Yo no me molesto. Estamos aquí para aprender y para ayudarles. ¿verdad? Así que pasen muy buenas noches, descansen, cenen si no han cenado, ¿verdad? Y que tengan un bonito night, día teacher. de mañana de trabajo. Good night. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.